All right, we are at section 14.4, uh, energy and intensity of sound waves. Uh, if we look at the uh, tuning fork, uh, where are we? Uh, we're behind. Um, the, as the tuning fork moves back and forth, it's expending energy. There's, uh, the tuning fork is uh, pressing against the molecules. It's transferring its energy, um, causing the high density region, and, and as it comes back, the low density region. And so it's transferring its energy uh, to the air molecules around it. And the intensity is equal to the, um, the change in energy over time uh, divided by the area. Uh, so the, the, now energy divided by time is power, which is expressed in watts. So the SI units for the intensity is watts per square meter. Um, so the intensity is really power uh, delta E over delta T is power, so it's power over the area. Um, now the threshold of hearing is, is very low. The intensity is 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. That's the threshold of hearing. That's where uh, you can just begin to hear things. Um, and the threshold of pain is 1 watt per square meter. That's a lot of power. Uh, when, especially when you think of you, the, the size of your eardrum, I mean, uh, a square meter is, you know, that's a big, that would be a big sheet of fabric, uh, one square meter. And so your ear, your eardrum is a very, very small, uh, small area. So one watt per uh, square me meter, that's a, that's a very, very uh, loud, intense sound. Uh, so the threshold of hearing, the pressure increase of just three times 10 to the five pascals over atmospheric pressure of uh, one times 10 to the fifth pascals, the ear detects uh, pressure fluctuations of three parts in 10 to the 10. That's a very, very sensitive, your ear is very, very sensitive. Um, so the maximum displacement of air molecules is one times 10 to the minus 11 meters, and the diameter of a molecule, molecule is approximately one times 10 to the minus 10th meters. So that it's very, very sensitive. Um, now the threshold of pain, that's uh, 29 pascals over uh, the atmospheric pressure, and the maximum displacement of air molecules is approximately one times 10 to the minus fifth meter. So that's a, that's a pretty large uh, displacement when you think of your, your eardrum. If you sustain that uh, pressure over your ear, you can, you can receive damage. Um, I've, I've worked in noisy environments and if, if, you, if you talk to me and I don't understand you, you'll notice that I turn uh, this ear towards you uh, because this is kind of my bum ear from, uh, for several reasons, and one of them related to the noisy environments that I used to work in. Um, so if you see me doing this to you, it means I didn't hear you the first time, and I want a better uh, grasp of what you're saying. Um, okay, so the, we, these are large ranges from uh, 10 to the minus 12 to uh, to one, uh, 10 to the minus 12 uh, watts uh, to, to uh, one watt, that's a large range. And so we, we measure sound in decibels, um, which is 10 log, 10 times the log of the intensity divided by uh, the re reference intensity, which is, I zero is equal to one times 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared. The threshold of hearing, just um, we measure it from that. So the threshold of hearing uh, is 10 log uh, one times 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared divided by one times 10 uh, to the minus 12 uh, watts per meter squared. Uh, well, the log of one is zero, 10 times that is zero, so it's zero dB. 
uh, zero dB is the threshold of hearing. Um, if we just increase it by, uh, you know, uh, one times 10 to the minus 11 watts per meter squared, that's equal to 10 log of 10, that equals to 10 dB. And the, uh, in other words, the log 10 is equal to one times 10 is uh, 10. Now you increase it to one times 10 to the minus 10 watts per meter squared. Um, well, that's a factor of 100. Well, 100, 10 to the 10, uh, 10 squared, um, that's where we get the exponent, two, two, log of 100 is two times 10 is 20, 20 dB. Um, and the threshold of pain, that's one. So that's a difference of 10 to the 12th. Well, the log of 10 to the 12th is 12 times 10 is 120 dB. That's a large, uh, a large increase. Every 3 dB, every 3 dB, you're doubling the sound. Um, so, so, uh, like here where we have 10, uh, if you have something at 10 dB, 20 dB is not doubling it. Uh, 13 dB is doubling it. Uh, so even at at 19 dB, that's what two, four, uh, eight. That's eight times as intense. Um, okay, here's some typical um, speeds of, or not speeds, intensities of sounds in decibels. So um, a nearby jet airplane is 150. You know, if you look out a window when you're on the uh, uh, the tarmac where the workers are loading equipment, usually you see them with the uh, the headphones, especially if you see the guy with his little uh, semaphores that signaling the plane which way to move. A jackhammer, a machine gun, 130 dB, a siren, a rock concert, 120 uh, dB. I can remember <laughs> attending the... Uh, Los number three dinners, and we were right up front. Boy, by the time I got through, my my ears were just uh, uh, they they were hurt, not hurting, but you could hear the rah rah rah. There was just a constant sound after the concert. There was uh, I could tell it was definitely affected. Um, the subway uh, Paramore is 100 dB. Busy traffic 80. Vacuum cleaner 70. Normal conversation 50. A mosquito buzzing about 40 dB, a whisper 30 dB, rustling leaves 10 dB, and of course the threshold of hearing is zero. Um, and that's it for intensity. Um, and we'll uh, stop here and we'll continue on with spherical and plane waves in the next uh, in the next lecture. That'll be uh, 14.5. We just finished 14.4.